guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm here for an unboxing. This is the Wicked King box. Um, I have had a tiny peek inside. Me and Elise were gonna try and do this together, but we kept bickering to the point where nothing was getting done. So I'm gonna try it again on my own. But it's here, it took forever to get here. So the only thing I've seen is the top two things, which are little Cardin. Isn't he cute? With his little tail. I like him. I'm excited to have him. I'm supposed to get the Blood Witch one too, but I don't know if that one's been sent out yet or not. I haven't heard anything about it, but we'll see. So we're gonna stick him there and he can watch. And then I also got a pillowcase. And this one's got Cardin and Jude on it. And then I'm not sure who this is. Is that supposed to be the queen, the undersea queen? Cause it looks like a queen and undersea, but the little pillowcase. And you'll notice that most of their boxes come with a pillowcase or a blanket. So obviously this one came with a pillowcase. So next we have socks. Yep, socks. And they have a little like tree pattern on the front. It's kind of cool. So I thought it was kind of ironic that I, a lot of people who bought this box bought the one that had the book in it. I didn't do that because I already had the book and I'm kind of glad I didn't because these boxes just got shipped out not long ago and I just got mine because it takes longer to get to the island. So luckily I wasn't waiting forever for a box to show up that had my book in it because this one didn't actually have my book in it. All right, and then next we have a little white box. with a teacup. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest teacup. Look how cute, little acorns on it. That is the cutest little teacup ever. Okay, and then it looks like there's a saucer that goes with it too. So, the bottom of the box. the same little pattern on it. That is so cute. So we'll put it up here. And I also saw in the box, we have a little acorn tea strainer. So we have a tea cup and a little acorn tea strainer. So I'm guessing Oops. I'm guessing there's gonna be tea in this box as well. And there it is. This one's called Spill the Tea. It's from A Court of Candles Tea House. It's drama, lies, and deceit. And it's a loose leaf tea made with herbal tea leaves, pears, apples, mango, strawberry, cranberry, rose hip, hibiscus, flowers, chicory, uh, chamomile, pink peppercorns, lemongrass, and other natural flavors. Ooh, so you can't see it because it's in a little bag, but it smells pretty good. It smells a little, I don't know. I'm gonna have to brew this one to tell you for sure if I like it because it could really go either way. It could be, it could be really good or it could be kind of wah, wah, wah. I hear a cat crying, I'm gonna let her out. So it looks like me and Carter are gonna have tea together because that's just cute. All right, next we have a candle, and this is Underwater Oaths, Sea Kelp, Untamed Waves, and Filtered Sunlight. Cats. It smells very clean, almost like cleaning products clean, and, but it's not a bad thing. It's, it's a good thing, it's just clean. So yeah, little candle. Next we have, I don't know, what a necklace. Ooh, a necklace. There, it's like little berries. Oh, these are the berries that you're supposed to wear while you're in fairies so that you can't be 
glamoured. Rowan berries or something like that. That's really pretty. I like that. That's really pretty. I will definitely wear that. Some of the jewelry I'm a little eh about. I never know if I'm actually going to wear any of it or not. That'll wear. All right. Last big thing in the box is... I don't know if it's Another pillowcase? No. It's... I don't know what this is. Almost like a tea towel, I guess, but it's like made of burlap. A burlap towel. It says, a human's guide to visiting the Elflim. One, salt your food. Two, don't drink the fairy wine. Three, wear your stockings inside out. Four, never dance without supervision. And five, always wear your berries. Berries. It's very cute. Yeah, it's definitely burlap. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a wall hanging because I did that before. Or if it's supposed to be like an actual towel. But we have all the little stuff in here, so we'll figure it out. All right, so we have some cards. I'm close some personal time. We have cards. I'm not positive who all the characters are supposed to be. I'm sure that's Matic. The rest of these... I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe Jude? Cardin maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. They're really pretty though. Then we have a little patch. And a little bookmark. And it's got a little note on it from Holly Black and it's signed. We have a print. That's definitely Carden. <laughs> That's gotta be Jude. Oh my goodness, and that is so cute. This is a spoiler card. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we have obviously the Rowan berries, the plushie, all the tea stuff, um, the candle. So it's that's general. This is um, Maddox Crest. It just says the Court of Shadows. Oh, so these are, um, um, this is the Goblin. Um, what are their names? So you have the Goblin, you have the little bomb chick, you have the little stealth dude. I can't remember their names. <laughs> All right, but that's cool. Uh, so that's everything. That's the entire box. And is it funny that that's probably one of my favorite things of, of the prints? And it's the spoiler card because that's just so cute. I'm sorry if you can hear my kids in the background. I've asked them to turn the TV down and they suck. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.